Hi everyone, so my name's Carly, you may have seen me in the group before. Um, we've just had a few questions around the different types of diabetes, um, so I thought we'd just do a bit of a refresher about the differences between type 1 diabetes and type 2 diabetes. And of course, in true Desmond style, I'll pop a few questions back to the group. Um, so just to recap on what you would have covered in Desmond, um, we're going to use Magnet Man today. But basically, with type 1 diabetes, you may remember that it's actually the pancreas that no longer produces insulin. So that will mean that someone with type 1 diabetes does need to inject insulin in order to live. Then with type 2 diabetes, you would have had a session that covers the things that can go wrong to cause type 2 diabetes. Now, one of them was that the liver, which usually stores glucose, can become a bit leaky and it will put out some extra glucose into the bloodstream, even though we may not need it. Then we also have the lock and the key. So you may remember back to the lock and key analogy where insulin's a hormone that will unlock doors on the cells to let the glucose in so the body has energy. But in type 2 diabetes, those locks can become um, very stiff and rusty and they don't open up very well. So then we get more glucose in the blood because it can't get into the cell. You may also remember that there are some hormones in the stomach that basically tell the pancreas to release some extra insulin when we eat. The other thing that can happen over time is that the pancreas, because it has been overworked, um, it can wear out over time. So the pancreas's job is to produce the insulin, but it's kind of like that if a factory was working overtime, trying to produce more keys and more keys, then it will eventually start producing less keys or less insulin. 